Today we are going to configure the cloud P2P on the JFTA series. So how to do that is first you want to right click and go into the menu press OK and then you want to go into the network side of it. When you go into the network you need to make sure that the DHCP is enabled so you check mark the DHCP you press apply and then OK. After you, that's done you click out of it you right click out of it you then right click and you have the sub menu here and you're going to go to your guide. When you go through the guide you just go next you set up your time and date you go next and then this is where it will test your network to see if it is okay if it says okay 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 then you're good to go you can go next if it does not then what you need to do is you need to go to your network you need to make sure that the that DHCP enabled is checkmarked if it's not checkmark it press apply and okay also you have to make sure that your Cat5 with the RJ45 cable is connected from your DVR to your router. That is very important, otherwise it will not work. So once you do that, then you come back to retry, and once you do that again, it should say OK, 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 and that means that you are connected to the network. Once that is done, you can press Next. This here is a uh, to download the applications for the iPhone or the Android Android app which you don't need to do because we have already told you which app to download for your phone which is the XMEYE so you will already have that on your phone so don't worry about this hit next and this is where the important part comes in so this is where you need to launch your app once you launch it you're going to select local login and then you're going to select the plus sign on the right side and you're going to add a name and then once you add a name you're going to press this little picture here that looks like a QR code and then your, pic your camera is going to come up you're going to scan it with your phone it's going to implement the serial ID into your phone and then you're going to press OK it's going to launch it and it after that you just select the camera you want to look at and it will launch thanks for watching our how-to videos for ArcVision technology